If therefore we forget, you see, that black and white are inseparable, and that existence is constituted equivalently by being and non-being, then we get scared. And we have to play a game called, uh-oh, black might win. And once we get into the fear that black, the negative side, might win, we are compelled to play the game, but white must win. And from that start all our troubles. Because, you see, the human awareness is a very odd mechanism. I don't think mechanism is quite the right word, but it'll do for the moment. That is to say, we have as a species specialized in a certain kind of awareness, which we call conscious attention. And by this, we have the faculty of examining the details of life very closely. We can restrict our gaze, and it corresponds somewhat to the peripheral field, I mean the, the central field of vision in the eyes. We have central vision, we have peripheral vision. Central vision is that which we use for reading, for all sorts of close work, and it's like using a spotlight, whereas peripheral vision is more like using a floodlight. Now, civilization and civilized human beings for maybe 5,000 years, maybe much longer, have learned to specialize in concentrated attention. Even if a person's attention span is short, he is, as it were, wavering his spotlight over many fields. The price which we pay for specialization in conscious attention is ignorance of everything outside its field. I would rather say ignorance than ignorance, because if you concentrate on a figure, you tend to ignore the background. You tend, therefore, to see the world in a disintegrated aspect. You take separate things and events seriously imagining that these really do exist, when actually they have the same kind of existence as an individual's interpretation of a Rorschach plot. They're what you make out of it. In fact, our physical world is a system of inseparable differences. Everything exists with everything else. But we contrive not to notice that, because what we notice is what is noteworthy. And we notice it in terms of notations. Numbers, words, images. What is notable, noteworthy, notated, noticed, is what appears to us to be significant, and the rest is ignored as insignificant. And as a result of that, we select from the total input that goes to our senses only a very small fraction.